I'm me, me. all right. I spent a bunch of time getting my stuff fixed off camera, so let's just get right into the cooking. You just add a little bit of a time. A little bit of a deal. You gotta get that black pepper so the white crowd's really impressed. All right, now we need the all the lemons. This is the easier one. All right, we're starting off easy. That's fine. Nice, even slices. That's what the people want. That's what they're gonna get. Eh. All right, beautiful. Just gonna take all the lemons and place them on there preemptively. Save some time and kill some time for that trout to cook evenly all the way around. All right, folks. Now we gotta... Fuck. All right, well... Some of this horseradish is getting on the lemon, that's fine. Beautiful fish on some lemon. Mwah. All right, send this shit out. Five stars right there. What the fuck? What do you mean? What do you mean four and a half stars? That is an insult to my cooking prowess. I went to Le Cordon Bleu, damn it. Tomato soup, all right, we need chicken breath. All right, that's all of that. We'll just toss that that way. Don't need it anymore. I'm just gonna don't want to waste any product. My favorite part of tomato soup is uh, the blending. What? Oh. Don't want to over blend it, otherwise it's too smooth. No one wants a super smooth soup. You want it to be kind of like the consistency of glue. That's what we're going for here. Oh, we gotta take a nice picture of this tomato soup. Because, you know, there's nothing better. When you're looking at Instagram and all your favorite food stuff, what you want to see is the, sh is the soup. That is exactly what you want. Screw all those crazy burgers and desserts. It's the soup that everyone actually cares about. Look at that. See? They really like that soup. Now you want all the black pepper in just one spot. That way a lot of it's bland and then when they bite into that certain spot, it's like a fiesta in their in their mouth. Pork chop ready to be flipped. Ta-da. Alright, ready? Ready? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Got you. Alright. Perfect. It's like only cooking on on part of it, because some of it's outside of the pan, that's alright. How are the potatoes looking? Oh, they're about done. Oh shit. Oh, I just slapped the, the potatoes onto the ground. God damn it. Alright, hold up. It's just a couple pieces. Oh god damn it. Okay, so let's just. Alright, this one potato. Fuck. We put the whole plate on the ground. Pork chops are probably burnt now. God damn it. Can we, can we please just grab the potato? Thank you. Thank you. Alright, pork chop's pretty much done. Fuck it. Let's grab it. There we go. Oh, yep, you can see part of it's a little raw. And that's okay, because that's what adds to the flavor. Sometimes you just want a really rare pork chop, you know? And voila. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Need it in the middle of the pan, man. Son of a bitch. Okay, hold up. Just gonna let it slide off like that. God damn it. Alright. We're gonna get it right this fucking time. Come on. Okay. Any one of these flips out of work. Sometimes you just gotta keep flipping it like this so it you get this nice soft cook all the way around to make it really tender. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Jeez, come on, dude. Alright, alright, here we go. Full, full flip. There we go. 18th time's the charm, I always say. Beautiful salmon, look at it. Ooh, see how it just rolls off the plate like that? That's what you want. Beautiful. Salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Got an achievement for that one, that's how you know it's good. How many potatoes? I guess it is a lot, okay. Oh crap, I didn't, I didn't salt them. You no, know we're just gonna take the salt. I'm just gonna, um... Uh... Ooh, you know what? I probably added way too much salt on there. Because it was saying the oven level, but not the, not the actual potato. That's okay. It's not the critic, so it doesn't matter. Did I just have like a small bowl? Bowl basic. Alright, there we go. That's what I should be putting it in. Oh, it spills out. Okay, well, I tried. Uh, they're just getting a bowl of tomato soup. It's like half the amount that they're supposed to get. That's fine. What the hell is clarified butter? It's like I walk out to the person. I'm like, yeah, this is butter. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Good enough. All right. 
dabble some salt on them, like six grams or something. Oh, fuck, it's whole potatoes. Fuck, fuck these. I'm gonna put it all into this tiny plate because I spent so much getting the ingredients. Let's make sure it fits on the plate. Fuck. Okay, hold up. Fuck. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, now we're just... I refuse to use a bigger plate. Oh god, it's like barely on there. God, it's like a piece of paper. Beautiful. I just stay on there. There we go. Amazing plating there. A A plus. It looks like I baked this in flaming hot Cheetos. Grill for 80 seconds each side. I don't think so. Uh this is definitely going in the microwave. I think a minute in the microwave is probably good. And then we gotta do the salmon steak and oh that's easy. We're just gonna cross contaminate because why not? Oh shit. Wow, the microwave really does a good job. Alright, so we're just gonna <laughs> Excuse me, salmon. We need the uh, the lemons here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. There's there's the tuna. What the fuck, dude? Get on there. The tuna's so screwed up, it doesn't even want to fucking. Oh god, I'm just a shit show right now. Hold on. All right, maybe the small plate. Okay. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so now we need to pick up all the lemons. There we go. That's a potato. We don't need that. Uh, what happened to all the lemons? Oh, they're right there. Okay, so lemon, lemon, lemon. Fuck it, they get a they get an extra potato. Uh, what is oregano twigs? Eight grams. Look at that. They get a nice microwave tuna steak <laughs> with a. With a potato. Let's see what they think about it. Tastes zero. Oh. Wait. Wait, really? Huh? Grilled tuna steak. Heating mistakes with that. Oh, I gave him a potato. Apparently the tuna had heating mistakes, unfortunately. So microwaving doesn't seem to be... I don't know. It's, I think it's just because I burnt it. I think the microwave might actually work. So, salmon's egg, pork chops, oh for fuck's sake. Alright, pork chop is just getting microwaved because I don't want to free up the, uh, free up the, the frying pan or buy another one. We're going to microwave it for about 50 seconds and we'll see how that turns out. So it's not quite there, we're going to add some time to it. Fuck, 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 okay, okay. Damn it, I thought I was going to make it the whole episode without breaking a plate, oh god, now no, oh, oh, what a mess. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I got this. We just got a, a potato. Oh, now we've lost the salmon. Alright, can we, can we, come on. Oh, shit, the pork chops. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, this is the salmon steak. Beautiful. Alright. So, now we just need the, uh, Pork chops. Uh, that's still baking. How's the progress on this thing? Uh, it looks like they're like perfectly heated. Perfect. All right. So, <laughs> so we just got a, a microwave pork chop. Let's see if they if it was just the burning or the the pork chop is actually three star pork chop. Okay, I'll take it actually. Let's see technique heating mistake. There wasn't enough sunflower oil. Okay, that you know what? That's fine. I'll take it, actually. I might start just microwaving food. I, I might even make that my own personal challenge to just microwave everything I can. Dish taste tolerance. Good thing that's that's maxed out. Our dish of the day is grilled tuna steak, yeah. Quote unquote grilled. Don't break any plates. 50 XP. We'll see about that. Grilled tuna steak. Alright, so what we do here is uh, we grab the tuna. Oh shit. Two tuna steaks. Alright, so what we need to do here is you need to grab a plate. Alright, we're gonna take one steak. We're gonna take two steaks. It's gonna have to microwave for quite a bit. And we'll just uh, slap it in there on low. Let's do it for... We'll do it for about a minute. We'll see how it is. And then uh, you just need lemons for that one, so two lemons. 
We can microwave the lemons. Uh, I might need a little more time. Let's do... It's about a minute 30 for the tuna steaks in the microwave. All right, so we got the tuna done. Uh, we lost one. Uh, that's okay, though. Uh, crap. Well, I need, I need two plates to do this anyway, so this guy gets the tiny plate. I'm not expecting any five stars or anything, but this will save me a lot of hassle. So first guy's tuna steak coming right up. Two, <laughs> two stars. All right. Well, what did he have to say about it? Uh, heating mistakes, apparently. Um, yeah, that's okay. And this one, maybe I just didn't microwave it enough. Uh, I think that's really the main issue there. I'm gonna put the two chunks on there. Look at that. Look look at that. Oh shit. It's <laughs> trying to rotate it. Oh shit. Uh, uh, for these, I think... I think maybe... We'll try it one minute. This is probably the best business decision I've ever made. Look at the microwave, it gives me so much more time to do things. It's, it's funny because I think it actually takes less time to go grill it. It's two minutes on the grill. So, or it's a little, it's like a two, two and a half minutes on the grill. So let's just, uh, we're up to two minutes of cook time in here. So maybe, maybe we'll go up to like a minute 30 there. And this is, these are burnt a little bit. That's all right, we'll let them sit. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. All right, those are about done. So we're just going to take them out. They look good. Uh, and then we're just going to plate the two potatoes on there. I think it wants us to use something, two rosemary twigs. So there we go. Beautiful. All right, and let's see how they like it. Oh, hold up, hold up. I almost forgot. <laughs> Silly me. I gotta season it. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful microwave dinner for two. We're gonna take a salmon and we're gonna sprinkle it with some stuff. We're gonna put it in the microwave for about a minute a beautiful salmon filet and then actually if you want you can really just take this you can put it in the microwave like so and then we're gonna microwave it for a minute <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now the asparagus is done. So we just take them out of the boiling water. And there you have it. A beautiful dinner for two made in the microwave. Uh, sometimes the salmon likes to dance. What the f- There we go. Sometimes you just gotta pick it all up off the floor. And there you have it. A beautiful dinner for two. Holy shit, three stars? <laughs> it tries to tell me that I can't put the boiling water pot inside of the microwave, but like if you manually do it, it still cooks it, which I think is hilarious. So let's see, yeah, I think I think 45 seconds, 48 seconds is about the right amount of time for the uh, the salmon. So I'll just put that there, and then we gotta, the tricky part with this is we gotta manually sneak it into the microwave. So it doesn't actually wanna go into the microwave. Oh shit. Wait, what? All right, here we go. So just sneak it in there like that. And uh, that one will do for about a minute. Maybe a minute and 18. I think it's fine. As you can see, it's just starting to boil in there. Uh, so it's, it, it should honestly be in there for about another minute, but you know, we've got customers to serve. Sometimes you just crunch for time. You gotta really just improvise. 
I also probably here, you know what? We can we can actually switch this to with meats you want low, but this you want high. So really if we did a like 45 seconds on high, we'd probably be fine. Let's just add a couple more. Just because they're just now starting to boil. We've got one really done potato and one that's like perfectly cooked. Why don't you want to stay on there, man? It's like mad that I cooked it in a microwave. Why are you doing this? Okay, hold on. Fine, we'll grab a big plate so you stop rolling around. What is what is it doing? It's, it's like mad. The game doesn't want me to succeed because I microwaved it. Fine, we're, we're just going to start with one potato. That's fine. Two and a half stars. See, it would have been three if it would have let me put the microwave potato over there. You are just the worst. You know that? This is what you get. Oh shit, now I don't get my bonus 50 XP.